Hey guys, it's Google again with another video and this time I've got the Paranoid Android Oreo Alpha Dev whatever you want to call one of these release for the OnePlus 3. So stay tuned for that. So guys, we have alpha version of Paranoid Android's Oreo stepping into the Android world. So that is amazing news. But well, as the name suggests, it is alpha and it is not ready for full release. Now there are a number of things which is about this ROM which you need to know if you're trying to flash this ROM in your daily driver. So. I'm not going to do a full review of it because I frankly think it's not ready for it. So that is one thing. Apart from that, I will be going over the basics of this ROM. So let's get started. First of all, let's go to the settings menu. In the settings, you can see in the system about page, about phone page, you have all the information. It is Android 8.0. That is the big news here. So you get this one. You get the uh, Oreo Octopus or whatever you want to call one of these. Uh, we have that. Pretty cool. Now it is as you can see Paranoid Android version 8 so 7.3 was the latest version of NoCat which we have uh, possibly going to be the final version October 5 security patches not yet on November so that's, that's just how it is Kernel is 3.18.66 it's not available in XGA developers it was available in OnePlus forums and a lot of you guys wanted this ROM to be tested so that's the reason I'm here SLS status is permissive, I, but I guess uh, all Android Oreo versions are permissive, so you don't need choice on that. Now, as you can see, it does have a system updater, but honestly, it doesn't work. Don't worry about that. It does have reset, it does have keyboard input, it does have double tap to jump into camera, the power button, so that is available. Lift to check phone is available, which is a uh, active display feature, so yeah. So yeah, that is it in the about phone page. Let's get stuff with done with the features. Now again, this is a very, very basic build. A PA has never been a feature rich ROM and this one is even more not feature rich. It does have enough features to get, to get you started. VOLT is missing. Uh, I was not able to use my Geo VOLT. I'm not able to use 4G connection and internet but no VLT for this one but apart from that everything just works out really well there is sim card uh, customization one thing which I did notice in this ROM is that you cannot select and change the data sim card without uh, by the normal method you cannot do that if you want to use idea my second sim card as a data sim you have to disable geo first from here and it will automatically select idea here and then enable geo if you do want to so th that is a uh, very alpha problem which we have not really sure if, uh, if it's being worked on or not but that is an issue which is available so you cannot just click here and change the sim cards for any of these that often so that's something there if, so if you do want to you need to select that when the phone boots up and uh, you are setting up your account so that's the only way you can do that apart from that uh, battery option something which i do want to talk about the battery is battery life is not good uh there is really really big uh battery life issues uh one thing is that you can see a big gap there and that is a huge gap which was just not tracking the uh, application was not just tracking the battery usage my phone restarted a couple of times in during the time and uh, that just didn't work and yeah the phone is not really battery efficient there is there are a lot of drains here and there which happens it is an alpha build it is a it is a very very early stage uh, build so I can expect that I am I don't have any issues with that in the display options you do have a few options here uh, fun size and display size can be customized you can also enable lift to check from here also ambient display can also be enabled and disabled and it is working ambient display works surprisingly well didn't expect that in the sound options you do have options here and uh, most of these works options work out didn't have any issues with that fingerprint and location it does have Google Play protect which is great uh, find my device is enabled and that is a stock feature on Oreo that does work out really well and smart lock is available if you do want to use that uh, encryption details I mean encryption is available and if you are someone who uses encryption quite a lot you are going to enjoy that uh, I have heard that hardware encryption is available for this device 
I can't vouch for that because my device was decrypted before I was using this ROM. So another thing which I do want to talk about is the fingerprint scanner. Fingerprint scanner is slow, as in real, real slow. So uh, right now I just turned off my phone. I'll just wait for a few seconds, and if I click that, it takes quite a lot of time, and sometimes it just doesn't even register my finger. Uh, that has happened a few times, and I had to physically click the button there is no double tap to uh, get in uh, you have to click the button swipe up st uh, put in your key and then enter a bit more work than just using your finger to unlock it that has been a case but again do keep in mind this is an alpha version just gonna say that now another few issues which i had with this rom is that wi-fi wi-fi does work out there is no issues with that i have connected with my 2.4 gigahertz connection and also 5 gigahertz connection Works out really well, but it does take a bit more time to connect than other Nogat ROMs or other Oreo ROMs, so that's something there. Apart from that, camera. Camera is great. I mean, you do have the uh, PA camera application. Takes amazing photographs. It does works out really well. You can see these are photographs which I took today with this camera. Uh, just works out really well, but video recording does not work. That is an issue. You, if you click here and uh, you see that, well, it's not, it's not recording. It just, uh, stops uh, recording and uh, that doesn't work an issue yes but uh, you have to consider again that this is an alpha build apart from that uh, the camera does not work on third-party applications also so let's get let's just go to Instagram and Instagram let's go to photos uh, photo yeah let's see if photograph works it doesn't work it doesn't even open up the camera that is something there Instagram WhatsApp telegram none of these cameras work so you need to be careful if you are someone who shares a lot to social media using your camera like Instagrammer, well, that's not it's not gonna work for you. Now, something which I do did really uh, like was that uh, the issue were which in uh, which I had with Validus and uh, Cardinal ROM that seems to have been fixed here. Uh, for example, let's see. Okay, sound recorder. Uh, it should work out. Sound is working, and uh, I have also used third-party sound recorders like this one is a third party sound recorder and you can see it is working uh, finish it I'm gonna play that back sound recorder is working and ok google is enabled so that is something there uh, it wasn't supposed to work I mean it wasn't working in other ROMs so I'm glad to see that is working correctly here now about the real data Calls work, but as I've already said, VLT does not work. And also, while incoming uh, calls are available, and uh, I have been able to get a few incoming calls, I did have a few reboot issues whenever I got an incoming call. That made it a pain uh, to just deal with this ROM. So that is something there. Uh, that is probably my biggest complaint about this ROM. I mean, I I, I understand this is an alpha build, and I shouldn't be complaining. So I'm just gonna not do that. See a reboot issues all the way. There are a lot of places where there is uh, force close issues. Uh, that is something which you have to endure with on in alpha build. So that is something there. All the other applications does seem to work out really well. I have been using PA browser for quite some time. Works out really well. Again, I uh, have been using Magisk. I have been using Magisk 14.0 and that has been working pretty well too. Uh, no issues uh, whatsoever with any applications which I use. I use Titanium Backup. I do use a few applications which does require root. Yes, file, uh, file manager also I do use for root purposes. Has been working really well. Uh, again, if you are someone who wants to use Titanium Backup on an audio ROM, if you're coming from Nogat, don't restore data. Uh, that I think that is already out there and people do need to understand that now gcam mod i have tried and used this my problem with uh, third party application is still there so it's not going to work out uh, there are a few issues so you can see camera just stops you have to, you are stuck with the stock camera application so that is something there so let me show you guys the boot animation and if you have seen the boot animation for panel android rom previously of 7.3.1 the official one well that hasn't changed yet so here you have it that is the boot animation for panoid android rom it also has a boot sound which is pretty cool so there you have it so there you have it guys um my first look i guess i'm gonna call this that uh for the panoid android oreo rom and it is promising it is amazingly promising I really love the progress they have made uh, from version 20 to 23. This is the 23rd uh, November version, which is the latest one available right now. So, uh, just so you guys know, uh, I really like the progress. Now, 
Using this ROM is still a pain. Uh, there are a lot of issues which I have already mentioned. And if you think this video is more about the issues, talking about the issues than the good thing, uh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't really want to make it that. But a lot of people have been asking me about this ROM and uh, these are my thoughts on it. Just wanted to let you guys know of that. In my typical review, it would have been a score. But since it's not a review, it's just a look at the features and uh, the problems of this. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on what, whether I like it or not. And uh, well, this is Panoid Android. Panoid Android has been one of my favorite ROMs for a long time. And I know that this team is going to be a great ROM. This ROM is going to be a great ROM or addition for our phone in the future, in the near future because they already have an alpha out with almost everything working. Real and camera working, that's one of the hardest things to do. Uh, VLT, well there are a few things about it. So yeah, I really do appreciate that. It's gonna be soon. It's gonna be a really great ROM soon enough that we will all be able to enjoy this soon. So yeah. I guess I'm interested about the ROM then. Hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.